Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to create a playbook file in Ansible and how to use a playbook file to carry out tasks on a managed node. So in our last video, we looked at how to install uh, Ansible on Ubuntu 24.04 and how to configure the control node to access the managed nodes. So this video assumes that you already have installed Ansible on Ubuntu 24.04 and have also configured the managed node which will be controlled by the control node. Alright, so now in this video we are going to look at the concept of playbooks and uh, we are going to see how to use uh, an inventory, how to incorporate modules and variables in a playbook file. So here is our lab setup. So here this is my control node and this is my managed node all right now before anything else we are going first of all to configure the managed node in our inventory now an inventory is a database of managed hosts or targets that ansible controls and by default the host file is located in the c ansible hosts so this is uh, the default inventory path so you can view this using the nano text editor and let's open the file. So here you can see we have accessed the host file and by default everything is commented. Okay, so now it's upon you now to make your or define your managed hosts and there are several ways of doing this. All right, so one of the most basic or fundamental way of specifying a host is by typing out its IP address. For example, you can type in my case, the managed host's IP is 45.79.214.22, like that, okay? So that's one way of doing this, but the most preferred way is to organize the host and uh, a host group. So for example, we can organize this under a host group called, let's say for example, web servers, like that. Okay, and we enclose the host group inside the double uh, brackets, as you can see. Okay, so now this host, this managed host, falls under the category of a group called web servers. All right, then now we are going to save the changes. So I'm going to press Ctrl O, hit enter, and Ctrl X to exit the host's file. All right. Okay, so now we have specified the managed node or the target in our inventory file. Now you can list all the nodes or the managed nodes on your system or control node using the Ansible all list hosts command like that. Hit enter. So this will list the IP addresses of all the hosts that will be managed by Ansible. So in this case, we have only one host and this is its IP address here. All right, now later I'm gonna show you how to create a custom inventory file, but at the moment we are going to go with the default inventory file. Now the next step is to create a playbook. So for demonstration, I'm going to create a simple Ansible playbook that prints a simple message on the terminal. So to create a playbook, you can run you can use the nano text editor or vim editor, whichever editor you're using, then followed by the name of the playbook. So here I'm going to call it hello.yaml. So ensure that you have the .yaml file extension because playbooks are written in YAML language. So I'm going to hit enter. All right, now to start off, I'm going to type three hyphens to mark the beginning of the playbook file. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to specify the host group in my inventory file. All right, so here we gave we gave our managed node or we grouped our managed node under the group host called web servers. Okay, like that. All right, so ensure that the group host you specify here has been specified in the inventory file otherwise you're going to get an error when running the playbook okay so next uh, i'm going to give this playbook a name so let's say for example print a message uh, on the terminal okay you can give it any arbitrary name you want 
All right. All right. So now we are going to specify the tasks to be carried out by this playbook. So here I'm going to specify the tasks. Okay. And by the way, be careful about the indentation. So make sure you have correctly identified your playbook file. So here we have tasks. All right. So under tasks, we have, I'm going to give the task a name. So display a simple message to standard out. All right. Then I'm going to use the debug module. All right. So now in Ansible, modules are standalone scripts of code that perform actions on managed nodes. So debug, uh, is responsible for printing out a message to standard out and it takes a parameter called uh, message okay so this one contains the string to be printed to standard out so for example hello world welcome to ansible all right so ensure that uh, you, your playbook uh, resembles what you have here. All right. So take note of the indentation. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to save this playbook. So I'm going to press Control O, then uh, Control X. All right. Now, before you run a play playbook, it's always advisable to check whether the syntax is correct. And you can do so by running the command Ansible playbook then syntax check then followed by the name of the playbook in our case hello.yaml then i'm going to hit enter so as you can see uh, the syntax is correct and uh, at the end we get the name of the playbook all right so this shows that our playbook is quite good so now let's run the playbook sorry then followed by the yaml file or the playbook which is hello.yaml and hit enter so as you can see the runtime is in progress and it has completed all right so as you can see uh here we get the message hello world welcome to ansible all right so this shows that the ansible has successfully run as we expected all right, so the, here's a play recap. So you can see uh, the, the task uh, executed successfully. All right, all right. So yeah, so this shows that the playbook has successfully executed. All right, now let me clear the screen. Now I earlier mentioned that you can also create a custom inventory file. All right away from the default one now the advantage of a custom inventory file it allows you to organize different sets of managed nodes okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a custom inventory file all right so i'm going to create a directory specifically for this so i'm going to create a directory called uh, custom underscore inventory then I'm going to navigate into this directory so cd custom underscore inventory okay then I'm going to use the nano editor so I'm going to specify the inventory name so let me just give it the name inventory And I'm going to hit enter. All right. So similarly here, I'm going to group. I'm going to place my managed node under the uh, web servers host group like that. So here I'm going to specify its IP address. 214.22. Then I'm going to save the changes and exit. All right, let me go a directory app or go to the home directory. So now you can use this custom inventory using the hyphen I option. So 
you can run the uh, the Ansible playbook file. So Ansible playbook. So we are going to use the hyphen i option to specify the custom inventory file and the path to this inventory file is custom underscore inventory then inventory like that then followed by the path of the playbook file in this case hello.yaml okay so we have specified the hyphen i option which allows us to spell out or specify the custom inventory and lastly we have specified the playbook file so hit enter so as you can see once again the playbook runs successfully even when we specify the custom inventory file all right okay so now we are going to create another playbook file and we're going to look uh, we're going to use more modules for a better practical example all right so now i'm going to clear the screen now in this example i'm going to create an ansible playbook that installs apache web server on the managed node all right so now i'm going to run the command nano then i'm going to give the playbook name so for example install underscore apache uh, dot yaml okay like that okay so now this playbook will now give you more practice on ansible modules okay so as before i'm going to start with three hyphens okay then i'm going to specify uh, the hosts group so here we have uh, web servers okay then here i'm going to give the name of the playbook so for example uh, install uh, apache uh, web server okay then here i'm going to give an attribute for privilege escalation so here we have become yes so what this does it allows the remote user configured on the managed node to execute this playbook okay so on the terminal we will provide a directive to provide the the ssh user for the sudo user configured on the managed node so on the managed node we already have a sudo user configured and the sudo user is called linux techie now we'll later on go to the hosts file and define this user okay so for now we are going to specify the become directive and this allows for privilege escalation so that the playbook can run successfully on the remote node okay so now let's go on so here i'm going to specify the tasks and we are going to have three tasks okay so the first task is to we are going to update uh, the local cache so update the local cache on the remote node okay so here sorry update local cache all right so here we are going to use the apt module okay so this is a package management module all right so here under apt we are going to have update underscore cache yes okay so that is what we have so here there's a space sorry okay after the full colon so this task updates the local cache so this is the equivalent of running the command sudo apt update okay now moving on we have the next the next task so here i'm going to specify the name so here we are going to install apache okay so once again i'm going to use the apt module all right and here we have two parameters so here i'm going to specify the name of the package to be installed in this case apache 2 okay and i'm going to specify the state so here 
we have present. Okay, so the apt module in this case takes two parameters, the name Apache 2 and state present. So state present ensures that the Apache 2 package is installed. All right, then to our last task. So we are going to ensure that Apache service starts. So start Apache. Okay, so we are going to use a different module. So here we have the service module. Sorry, we have the service module. So here, once again, we're going to have the name parameter Apache 2 and we're going to specify the state. So here we're going to say started. All right, so that is our playbook file. Okay, so we have three tasks. We are going to update the local cache. Thereafter, we install Apache. And finally, we are going to make sure Apache is started. So now let me save this playbook. Okay, now, now the next step, I'm going to I'm going back to the host file. Okay. Then I'm going to specify the user that is going to log in and carry out or execute the playbook. Okay, so here I'm going to navigate all the way down and uh, I'm going to specify Ansible underscore SSH user. So we have Linux Techie. So this is the user residing on the remote system on which this egg, uh, playbook is going to be executed. And you must ensure that the user is privileged or has pseudo privileges. All right, then I'm going to save this and exit. Okay, so now you also need to ensure that you copy the SSH key to the user. So you can run the command SSH copy ID followed by the user Linux techie at the IP address. So 45.79.214.22 and hit enter. So we already have saved the SSH key to the remote system under this user. So I'm going to exit out, out of that command. Okay. All right. So now we have our playbook file ready and we have made the necessary changes to the hosts file. So the next step is to now run the playbook. So Ansible playbook followed by the name of the playbook file. In this case, install apache.yaml, all right? Then I'm going to specify an attribute hyphen k. So this will prompt me for the uh, remote user's pseudo password. Okay, so here we are prompted for the pseudo user's password. So this is a password for the Linux techie user. I'm going to provide this. So on the screen, nothing will be printed out for security reasons and hit enter. So as you can see, the playbook is running. The tasks are running as you can see. Okay, the local cache has been updated. So we are installing Apache now. All right, Apache has been installed and Apache is running. Okay, so as you can see now, here we have okay is equals to four and change this is equals to two so this uh, means that two tasks have been carried out okay so we have updated the local cache and installed apache okay so let's now see and confirm whether apache is running so to do so i'm going to launch my browser here and i'm going to open a new tab and i'm going to type out the IP address of the server. So it's 
dot two one four dot twenty two and I'm going to hit enter. All right, so here we get the default Apache 2 uh, page. So this confirms that the Apache web server has successfully been installed and is running. All right, so this confirms that a playbook uh, executed uh, successfully. Now let's switch over and see how you can make use of variables inside a playbook. Let's now shift our focus to variables in playbooks. Now if you're coming from a programming language such as Java, or Python or C++, you must have covered the concept of variables and variables are used pretty much the same way in Ansible playbooks. Now a variable is simply an abstract value that temporarily stores data or information. Now to better demonstrate this, I'm going to create a simple playbook that displays a message hello world on the screen. So um, let me just create a, a sample playbook file. I'm going to call it uh, greetings.yaml, greeting.yaml, all right. All right, so once again, I'm going to start off with the three hyphens, as you can see. Then I'm going to specify the hosts uh, attribute, in this case, uh, web servers. All right, then I'm going to specify the name of the playbook. So for example, uh, variable example usage. All right, so now to define a variable, I'm going to use the vars directive. So the vars directive specifies the variable name. So in this case, um, I'm going to call it uh, greetings, sorry, greetings. So feel free to give it any abstract name you want. So here, uh, greetings is our variable and it stores the value. Uh, let's say, hello world. Okay. All right. Now let's move on and specify a task. So in this case, we are going to call the task something like uh, print message on the terminal. All right. And once again, we will use the debug module and the message parameter like that. Okay, so here we are going to reference the variable. So we do this using the double curly braces. Then we specify the variable name, greetings. Okay, then so this greetings will reference this variable here. So we are going to have hello world. Then I'm going to say something like welcome to Ansible. Then I'm going to enclose all these statements inside double quotation marks like that. Okay. So this is the complete play playbook as you can see. So here we have defined the vars directive. So this defines the start of our variable. So in our case, greetings is the variable here. And this is the value of the variable, hello world. And down here, we are displaying a message. So we have referenced the greetings variable using the double curly braces, okay? And we have enclosed the entire statement using the double quotation marks. So let me save this. So I'm gonna press Ctrl O, hit enter, then Ctrl X to exit from the playbook. All right, now let's run the playbook. So once again, I'm going to run the command uh, Ansible playbook, uh, followed by the playbook name. In this case, greeting.yaml. Then I'm going to hit enter. All right. So on your screen, you can see the, the playbook has run. And as you can see here, hello world has been referenced. Okay. So this was the value of the greetings uh, variable. So just to preview the uh, the playbook file. So this is what he had. Okay. So greetings 
took the value of hello world, which you can see here, hello world, all right, then it went ahead to print this string here, welcome to Ansible, which is this string that you can see on the standard output, all right? Let's now look at another example. So let me clear the screen. Now you can also have an array of uh, variables, all right? So now to demonstrate this, I'm going to include uh, a number of variables. So let me create uh, a new playbook to demonstrate this. So once again, I'm going to create another playbook. So let's say students uh, details uh, dot yaml. All right. So hosts uh, web servers. Okay. So let me now go straight to the to defining the variables. So, but before that, let me just give the playbook a name. So, uh, student uh, details. Okay. Then I'm specifying the variable name using the vars directive. So, so here we are going to have a number of variables. So the first uh, variable is a a student so here i'm going to give it the value of alex uh, okay then uh, the city uh, let's say miami uh, okay then let me specify the tasks so here tasks so the name of the task is display student details. So here I'm going to use the debug module. Then I'm going to use the message parameter and say the student name is then i'm going to reference the variable name here so here student okay and uh, i'll say and lives in city then i'm going to enclose all the statement inside the double quotation marks okay as you can see there so this is going to reference this value this is going to reference this variable which carries the value of alex and this very vari this variable will reference the value stored in city which is miami all right let me save this and uh, exit Okay, let me run the playbook. And as you can see now, we have the student name is Alex and lives in Miami. Okay, so here we have used uh, multiple variables to do the job. Okay, now as I previously mentioned, you can also have uh, an array you can use an array with uh, variables, okay? So now to demonstrate this. So I have a playbook file here that installs multiple packages. So the playbook is uh, 01 playbook.yaml. So let's preview, let's preview this playbook. So as you can see, I have a playbook that has three tasks. So the first task installs a package called NeoFetch, which displays system information. The second one uh, installs Bashtop, which is a system resource monitor. And finally, we have the third one called Doof, which is a disk space utilization uh, monitor. All right. So now, as you can see in this playbook, there's a lot of repetition in the tasks. So we have the first task, 
the second one and the third one and we can find that they are look they look all much similar and the playbook looks quite long now we can use a an array of variables to simplify this playbook so now i'm going to create a playbook to demonstrate this so i'm going to create a playbook and i'm going to call it uh let me see let me just call it uh, install essential packages dot yaml all right so let me start by creating the playbook so here we have the hosts uh, web servers uh, the name of the playbook let's say install multiple packages all right then we have the become directive which allows for privilege escalation so this will take the value of yes then here we're going to specify the variable using the vast directive and here i'm going to give it the name uh, packages so now let's install the packages so the first one is a uh, new fetch then the second one is a uh, bash top and finally we have the doof package all right now let's come to the tasks so let me give it a name so install mini packages and then here once again we have the apt module then we have name so this is where we are going to reference the packages variable like that and as always we are going to enclose it with uh, double quotation marks like that okay then finally we will declare the state which is present so this ensures that the packages are installed all right so that's our playbook and as you can see it's uh, much shorter and much neater than the previous playbook which had multiple tasks defined all right so now i'm going to save this and i'm gonna exit so now let's run the playbook but before we do so let's check the syntax and see whether it's correct so syntax check then the name of the playbook install essential packages all right the playbook looks good so now let me run the playbook file uh, install essential packages dot yaml with the hyphen k option for privilege escalation also this can be written as ask hyphen become pass so this will prompt me for the remote user's pseudo password i'm going to specify this and hit enter and as you can see the playbook is running and it's installing the packages defined in the playbook so this will take a bit of time as you can see on your screen all right so the packages have been installed all right so let's go over to the remote host so let's run neofetch and as you can see neofetch is has displayed the information as we expected let's run a bash top and as you can see the resource monitor is displaying all right let me press q to exit uh 
let me run the command called doof. So this is a disk usage monitor, which is a perfect replacement for the df command. And as you can see, we get information about mounted volumes, the total size, the used size, and the available size. All right. So that's how you can use a, an array using a variable. Okay, so that's it about this lecture. I hope you found this uh, valuable and insightful. So we have talked about how you can create a playbook. We have discussed how to create an inventory, how to use modules, and also how to declare and use variables. So that's it for this lecture. If you found this valuable, please do leave a like and subscribe to our channel. So see you in the next video.